Hey guys, it's Jess from Jess Chris, and today we are going to be talking about how to survive dealing with divorced parents. Number one, tell yourself it's going to be okay. When I was 10 years old, I was really sad that my parents got divorced because, you know, a little kid always wants their parents together and, you know, be like a big happy family. And I always, like, dreaded about it. Even though I was like 10, I didn't really know much about divorce, but as I got older, I learned, I knew more about it, and like, I don't know, for a 10 year old, I guess, I don't know, I was a pretty sad kid when I was little. So yeah, just tell yourself it's going to be okay, because if you keep dreading about it and being sad, then you're not gonna get over the whole divorce thing. Number two, you'll have two of everything, two houses, two parties, two beds, two pets. If your parents like animals, I guess it depends on them. But like, I have, you know, a, I, have, I actually have a parrot, as you, you guys probably seen when I did like other videos. And then I have a dog, Oreo, at my dad's house. And the parrot is obviously at my mom's house. And... So yeah, I have two pets, and then when I have, like, a, like, I guess, like, a birthday, I'll have, like, a party with my mom, and then another day a party with my dad. And then, I mean, I have two beds, I have one here, right next to me, and then I have, at my dad's house, my bed over there, and then I have two houses, I live here, and then I also live, I'm, I mean, well, I, li I live here, because I'm, more because all my stuff is here and I'm always here but like I also have a home with my dad like he you know I could always go there whenever I want to so I have two houses so like don't dread over it because unlike other people that actually have you know their parents together they only have one of everything at least you'll have two of everything number three you'll still have parents that love you very much like, you still have your mom and dad. They're still going to be there for you, even though they got a divorce. And if actually one parent did leave, you technically still have both parents because the other parent that's still with you is both your mom and dad. Like, they'll be there for you. They'll take care of you and everything. They'll take place of either the mom if they left or the dad if they left. So it's not really the end of the world be happy that you know at least you still have both parents or a parent because there's other kids and you know like that don't have any parent number four maybe if you know you can't handle the whole situation maybe you should go see a psychologist psychologists you know they're there to help you when you know stuff is going rough in your life and they'll always be there for you when you need them so I mean if you're still, I guess, having complications, like, I mean, like, so, like, I still get sad till this day, and I'm 21 years old, and they got, my parents got divorced when I was 10, so, you know, it's probably best for me, I guess, to see a psychologist sometimes, too, because I still dread about it, but, I mean, you're not really gonna recover quick, you don't recover fast, I guess, when you have divorced parents, like, it's harder than it seems, like, than, like, to the people that have parents together, like, they they won't understand because, you know, they didn't go through it. But, I mean, if it if you think you should see a psychologist because you really can't get over it, then maybe you should go see one. Number five, don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault that your parents got divorced, so don't blame yourself. They wanted to get a divorce because, you know, it was them, not because of you. Like, maybe they were arguing too much and they just didn't want to see you go through like that hearing the arguments all the time every day when you're like sleeping or like awake and stuff like that so don't blame yourself do not blame yourself number six I feel like people that have divorced parents will push themselves more to have like a better life and a better like like a better future like with their love like with their lover that they're supposed to be with than with people that have parents that are together because like as you're growing up and you're getting older like you don't want you don't want your like future kids or kids to have the same thing that you dealt with 
So I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, like us, you know, that have divorced parents will push themselves more. Like I, I told Chris, as you know, who's in this channel, um, that like in the future, you know, like if we decide to ever get married, that I don't ever want to get a divorce because I don't want my kids to go through what I did when I was little. So like, I guess if you have a boyfriend and you know, and you're like long term, like really long and ob it's obvious you'll probably guys get married, just I guess mention that to him or her because you know, you have to be on the same page. Number seven. Though I didn't get along with my stepmother, maybe the person that your parents get married to or date, maybe you'll get a friend and you guys will get along and then you'll have another person in the family that will be there for you. Or like, let's say, you know, your mom or or your dad, like one of the parents left, the person they get married to or date or whatever, would get along with you, so even though you don't, you didn't, like, let's say you didn't have a mom, for example, you'll have that stepmother to take her place, or other way around, you'll have the dad to take, you'll have a stepdad to take the dad's place, so who knows, maybe you could have someone else in the family and you'll be happy. Number eight, parents most likely get divorced because, you know, they argue too much. Well, now that they're, your parents are divorced, you don't have to hear that anymore. It's peaceful and quiet because, you know, you're with your mom in one house and then your dad in the other house. So now, you know, they can't argue anymore. You don't hear no more fighting and stuff. So you could go to sleep at night if they ever woke you up and stuff. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about dealing with divorced parents. Like, just... Even though, Tango, um, even though, like, you know, it, it may be difficult at times, at least, you know, you still have both your parents there and, or at least a parent. I still get sad about it sometimes, but you just, you just have to get over it. Like, it's life. You have to realize your parents just weren't meant to be, even though you wish they were. So, yeah. Um, also... Next, no, not next Thursday. This Thursday, me and Chris will be filming the baby food challenge. And I'll be posting it Friday at like 3 o'clock p.m. So every Friday is at 3 o'clock. Now there should be a video up. Next Thursday, we're going to try to film uh, us doing the hottest wing challenge with some of Chris's friends and my friend Ariana, which is March 10th, and that should be up March 11th, Friday, at 3 p.m.-ish. So, um, I don't know if you guys know, but it's like, you know, you eat the hottest wings, but we're actually going to get the wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, so the hottest one in Buffalo Wild Wings, and they have, like, the Atomic Wing Challenge, but we don't have the atomic place here in New Jersey. We have Buffalo Wall Wings, so we're using Buffalo Wall Wing Wings. And then the following week, Thursday, we're gonna be doing the smoothie challenge. So just keep an eye out on that and then whoever loses in them will have to do the punishments. And you guys could decide the punishment in the comments below. And if you know if we don't get any comments then me and Chris will just decide what the punishment should be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys Friday.